It's just me and my tablet. I have all the notes right here. We're gonna crush this video. What is going on guys? It's Jared here. And today we're back with another Finance in 5 video where we grow financial knowledge in five minutes or less. And today we're going to talk about how to make a budget and how to use a budget to secure our finances in the future. Go ahead and click the like button down below. Just a light little tap of the like button will really help the channel grow tremendously and it's going to help me out as well. Subscribe if you're new. I post lots of content on growing financial knowledge. You do not want to miss that. Click the subscribe button right below. All right, let's get right into having more money every single month just by making a budget. The first step in making a budget is to understand how much do I make. Calculating your income gives you a baseline of what you can spend in general. So by doing this first and making it the first step, you're organizing yourself for success in the future. Take in all of your income sources. That includes your primary income, any passive income, and that allowance that your grandmother gives you every single Sunday morning. Calculate all of this, add it all up, and now you have just begun in creating a budget. Next, you need to calculate your total expenses. This can be tricky and you need to lay everything out on on the table. And yes, I even mean those Cheetos puffs that you get from Walmart and I freaking love those things. Take everything you spend in the average month and lay it all out there. And honestly, you may be surprised at some of the things that you find that you are spending money on. Do this with honesty as your financial future highly depends on this crucial step. Separate your wants from your needs. A need is something that you absolutely need, like shelter and transportation. A want is something that you would like, but you don't have to have that. Be serious about this and take a look at your monthly expenses. If there's something that you don't absolutely need, go ahead and just just take it out. You can live without it, I promise. You are not gonna miss those weekly pedicures that much. But really though, separate your wants from your needs here. In doing this, we're gonna structure your budget around your needs. Thus, it will have a firm foundation moving forward. Set aside investments and savings. Honestly, think that in a lot of budgets, this is a crucial step that is missed. Before you even set up your monthly budget, have your retirement savings and your normal savings already taken out of the budget. For example, take 10% for retirement and take 10% for savings out of the budget entirely. This way you're gonna be investing and you're gonna be saving and you're not even gonna miss this money. There are actually ways to auto draft money out of your check into your bank account and into your retirement accounts without you even seeing it. I would choose this option if it's available and make sure that you're investing and you're saving a portion of your income from the jump. All right, it is time to design the budget. You're finally here. Now start to design how you want to spend money. When you get to this step, you are simply filling in the cracks. The needs should go first. First, it is the foundation of the budget. Then if you have money left over every single month, trickle in some wants there as you will. It is very important to have wants as well as needs, but have wants inside your budget. If you only focus on the necessities and you don't have wants that you purchase, you're not gonna stick with this budget. Treat yourself, but keep your budget intact. Just like when you go on a diet or a new food plan, you cannot completely starve yourself of things that you enjoy. Moderation is key here and put your budget in a position to succeed going forward. All that's done, now let's put it into action. A budget without action, is nothing. And if you've made it to this point, you've done a lot more than the general population. You've done the easy part. Now it's time to get out there and initiate the plan that you've started. Budgets usually fail for two reasons. One, they lack a record of accurate spending and two, they lack well-defined goals. To succeed in a budget, be honest about your spending. There's no need to lie here. And also have realistic goals when you set your budget. If you're trying to save for something, maybe set some extra money aside in the budget to save for that specific item. And be realistic with your money. Don't act like you have $10,000 a month when really you only have $5,000 a month. Set realistic parameters and manage your money well every single month. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, I hope you understand how to make a budget and how you can use a budget to improve your finances in the future. Go ahead and click the like button down below. It's gonna really help me out. It's gonna help the channel grow as well. Subscribe if you're new. I post tons of content just like this on growing financial knowledge. You don't wanna miss it. Go ahead and click the subscribe button right below. All right, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.